I am a 6 foot 2 guy that weighs 85 kgs and does calisthenics. One of my biggest goals is achieving front cover and still after 6 years I can't do it. <laughs> if you are wondering why I was in prison for a month, it was because I was falsely accused of attacking another guy <laughs> who learned the front lever in 6 months, but that's obviously total nonsense. Anyways, here I am after a month of crappy food, no training at all and pretty much feeling like I had never worked out. Is it only a feeling or did I actually lose all my calisthenics gains? My calisthenics prime was somewhere from the beginning of November to the end of 2022. I could do full 90 degree handstand push up, 7 handstand push ups, 10 muscle ups or for example hold full front lever for 4 seconds. Yes Derek, top G in calisthenics, you did it. Um, well, it was more like 4 seconds of slow full front lever negative, so <laughs> I wouldn't count that as a hold, but still this was my personal best and I never did better hold. Since then I jumped to more like maintenance mode and lost the full 90 degree push up and few other things because I lost my strength. This way I continued pretty much till I decided to focus for 100% only on making videos. I was in prison. As I said my hands didn't see bars for a whole month and now it's time to find out what damage it really done. My height obviously didn't change, or did it? <laughs> but my weight went from something like 84-85 kgs to 81 kgs. In my opinion I still look the same. <laughs> well maybe I gained a little bit of fat, but still I don't really know where that weight disappeared. Well if it, if it disappeared from my legs then I am happy, nice. The only thing that really changed is that muscle strength. That's easy, but we all know how hard it is to gain muscle mass and thanks to this you can't lose it just like that, but also not build it that fast. So we can safely say that if you take a week or a month of break, you won't suffer that much in terms of muscle mass. What will suffer pretty much instantly is your muscle strength, which is much easier to gain, but also easier to lose. We all experience that feeling when you skip one workout and so after 3 or 4 days of not working out, you felt super weak. But of course it takes usually 1 or 2 workouts to be back. But what happens to your strength after a month? So I just did my regular warm up and I got pain in my elbow. You're honestly an idiot. This is gonna be fun. I know this is a little bit stupid way how to test it because I'm pretty much trying my maximum in every exercise but I think even if I would do push exercises and then the next day pull exercises it wouldn't make much of a difference. I'm weak anyways. <laughs> I've been trying to call. I've been on my own for long enough. Maybe you can show me how to love. Maybe I'm going through a drought. You don't even have to do too much. You can turn me on. <laughs> Baby. I look around that. They were girls, so that's why I tried to do it in one go, but all strength gone after a month. <sighs> but what the hell, but... <laughs> <laughs> This one was like dolphin style. <laughs> Where are those times when I could do eight? Oh, seven, seven in a row. 
There you have it guys, one month of no training at all. So, my final thoughts on this are that I basically never trained and those 6 years of calisthenics never happened and I'm almost beginner again. <laughs> of course, all those balance related things I still can do, but when it comes to strength moves, I felt a significant drop. Overall my body and especially my arms were a lot shakier than before, but this is something I don't care about that much because I shake even while doing push-ups on knees. Don't know I have some disease maybe. The next thing on this list are my tendons, for which calisthenics is unknown world. <laughs> because for example while holding the back lever I was kinda scared for them and it didn't feel right. And the final thing is that I believe that I couldn't last that long like before. Of course training you creeps, what are you thinking about, my god. What we have learned today, to lose all your muscles a month won't be enough, so don't worry about taking a 3 weeks vacation or something else. On the other hand you will lose strength pretty easily, well not all strength but a significant amount. Still don't worry about that because maybe like a month or two of training and you are back on track. Just remember after this quite long break or if you are injured, don't jump back right into your old routines and spend first few workouts doing only basics to kinda like get back into the grind. Ok, thank you for watching this video to this point and as always see you soon, like in 3 days. Maybe four. Don't know. <laughs> Take care, guys.